Talk Sport Clips of the Week. Yes, there's old Mini Disc still paying out, found in a dusty corner of the studio somewhere. Some old clips from 2005, which is, uh, again, we've not heard them since. We, we, we trust our production team that the quality is of... Uh, oh, yes. Is is good enough, but uh, I'm sure it will be. I'm sure we'll find a few laughs along the way. And we start with uh, we start with Andy Townsend and Graham Beecroft uh, doing a quiz, which probably could have gone better. And the question is, who are Fulham playing in the Premiership tomorrow? Okay, Fulham playing in the Premiership. I'll give you a clue. Yes. Uh, it's a London derby. And somebody associated with Harrods is the chairman of this particular football club. Hmm. Um, well, Jimmy good. Hill, don't <laughs> plunge in, used to be a player with this particular football club, and so did Johnny Haynes, Andrew. Fulham. Well done, Fulham it is. How did you get that? <laughs> Fulham. Fulham Jimmy Hill Fulham. used to own Harrods. <laughs> yeah. no, I don't think he meant that. He, he was talking about two different things, but uh, anyway, he could have gone better. <laughs> Could have done. Alvin Martin now with Adrian Durham getting a bit mathematical. As Brian said, they're 22 points from the last 24. Mm. Uh, and, and I think during that run, they scored 16 goals in the last five. I think that's an average of a... Well, it's a lot of goals anyway. And then <laughs> Northampton. <laughs> no, look at well, there's your math. Look at Northampton. <laughs> They've only scored three in the last four. And, and that's an average. Well, that's not many, is it? <laughs> <laughs> great yes. comic timing by Alvin there. Even though he didn't mean it. It's brilliant. This is the call of the late, great Mike Dickin. Uh, possibly testing the great man's patience. John in Bristol. Good morning, you're on TalkSpot. Hello, John. Good morning. Good morning, John. Yeah? Uh, what, you want to know what I want to say? <laughs> oh, that's the idea. Well, that wouldn't have gone well with Mike, would it? I don't think uh, it could have. Uh, yeah, dear me. Uh, Good job we didn't play that. him off. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> this is Mike Parry now, reading out a text. Yeah. Right, now here we go. Uh, Richard in Cornwall. Cornwall. Don't get many from down there. Yeah, I don't think you will Surprised. if you keep doing accents like that. <laughs> <laughs> Not ideal, really, is it, Mike? <laughs> uh, to be fair to Mike, uh, he's coming up later. He's probably better having a go at his native Welsh accent. Right, one here from Mike in Merthyr, Merthyr Tidville. Yeah, maybe not. <laughs> the news now, and whoever is reading this makes a very odd noise after he's read the story. Paper has printed a statement that's been sent out with the invites. It also asks guests not to use cameras or mobile phones at next month's ceremony at Windsor Guildhall. <laughs> it's strange, isn't it? Strange noise, yeah, very much so, yeah. This is the caller to uh, Alan Brazil and Beaky on breakfast. Bill, the big Chelsea fan. Morning, Bill. Hello, boys. How Morning, are you? Good, Good, thanks. Yeah, I just want to, like, this Raldinho, who does he think he is, eh? <laughs> Not a clue. Know, is Who is Raldinho? <laughs> it's the one Brazilian name no one's ever come up with. We'll ask Tim Vickery if there is a Raldinho. Uh, <laughs> there isn't. <laughs> it's uh, Raul Dinho. It could, I'm just bound to be. I'm going to write that down and ask him later. So, Andy, Good what's one. next? Uh, let's head back to Mike Parry and Andy Townsend. <laughs> These guys bring you the information that the authorities don't want you How to see. How many bushes have you poked your big beard out of over the years, eh? <laughs> you dread to think, don't you? You do dread <laughs> to think. Uh, here's Big Al and Beaky once again, and Mr. Brazil saying goodbye to a guest. Absolutely. Sure. Hugh, thank you. Thank yes, you. Hugh Morgan, the editor of Mobile Choice magazine. I was only yesterday, Beaky, oh, yes. in Cheapside yes. by St. Paul's, in between St. Paul's and the Bank of England, uh -huh. after a Blackberry in the orange shop, and they couldn't help me. Really? <laughs> sure it wasn't fruit and veg shop, Yuri. <laughs> <laughs> Great graces. Back in March 2005, Delia Smith had just done her infamous halftime rant. Her immortal line, let's be having you, was on everyone's lips. Anyway, over to Mike Parry now. It'll be a terribly anticlimax for you if that's your lot. Yeah. <laughs> as, ah. uh, as, a famous, um, as a famous cook would say. Absolutely. Uh, let, let's be having it. Let's be having it, and that's your lot, of course. The two Delia catchphrases she's known for. And finally, it's Chris Cooper introducing the news. Second half commentary to come shortly from Highbury on Arsenal against Bayern Munich. First, though, the rest of the evening sports headlines from Murray Walker. Murray Collins. <laughs> and there and goes there. Chris Cooper. <laughs> yeah, of course. Exactly. Good old Murray, Murray Walker. Collins. It's an, it's an easy mistake to make. So there we are. They weren't bad, were they? There was a few decent ones in there. No, they were fun. 